Well, good. You know, so we've asked fans. We've said, why the fuck are you still watching it? Like, because that would be a lot of thing we hear back from people. Not that, like, we engage in these conversations, but you see the conversations online where people are like, well, they make the most money. They buy far the most ratings, so they're doing something right. And it's like, okay, well, then I want to talk to you people who are providing them that money and ratings. Mm-hmm. Like, why the fuck are you doing it? And tell me mm-hmm. why. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. At Mr. Fourth Row said on Twitter, he says, honestly, I'm only watching WWE on the big events. And... I still think the Van Dyke on Randy Orton looks good. Hashtag tweet the table. And he's wrong. The what on the Randy Van Dyke's facial hair. It's called he's the what? The Van Dyke. That's what he Dick said. Van Dyke? I don't know. But oh. whatever. If That's what he called it. That's okay. what he's referencing. Okay. And it doesn't look good on him. So <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, I'm not fact checking here, but I think you're wrong. Tim, <laughs> I got an idea. I'm yeah. going to throw this to you live on air. Uh, as we're recording on YouTube, and this is going to be on our podcast stream uh, momentarily. Uh-huh. I think we need to take to the streets. Mm. You know, in the political landscape, you see on both sides them infiltrate the other side and be like, what do you support Donald Trump? Da, 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 da. And they try to get the Trump supporters to say like why they support him. Right. right and then yeah, even on the other right. side, they go to Bernie, you know, they, why do you support Bernie? He's a social, all that stuff. Right. I think we need to go to the Royal rumble in St. Louis and we need to record. I'll, I'll be the one that answers it. You can record it. And I just want to ask every fucking person that I see that walks into that goddamn building. What do you like about this show? What is it that you like? What are you excited to see? And why are you excited to see it? Besides the nostalgic fact of it's Royal rumble. And maybe that's the reason, right? When I was a kid, I always wanted to go to this event. Now it's in my hometown. And so I wanted to go. Hey, can't data, really hate that. Find out what yeah. the feel is. But don't you kind of want to do that? that dies. You get what I mean? That nostalgia dies. With me. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, with others. But like, that's like, what so dies I can bring my kid and they might get hooked, but like, they're not, where they're shown they're not doing a great job of hooking the characters mm-hmm. anymore. So like, no, that's, this is, they've talked about, I think I read this before too, like they liken it to MTV, like. When you just go meta into yourself and go like, look, remember, you used to love us. We used to be cool back then. And then we just repackaged it and gave it back to you. That only works one time. And then you lost, you didn't build the next generation, right? Like then you lost it and you're gone, right? Like then it dies after that. And that's but don't you want to do that? Yeah. Don't you want to do that? Don't you real? I mean, I I honestly want to go and and stand in front of the entrance. It's like Facebook Live or TikTok Live or something. Yeah. And just have an honest conversation. I'm not going to be wearing an AEW shirt and be like, well, the, the other all fucking alternative is so much better. I don't even care if you don't like AEW. No, this is it's about fine. WWE. Like, it's why? A, yeah, yeah. It's why this? Yeah. yeah, the only reason we say good things about AEW is because we like the AEWs here to, like, save us. Because Tom has even said this. Like, I, I don't know if we'd be doing the show if they didn't exist at this point. WWE I ain't is talking so about bad. this bullshit so every bad. week. No, no, no. So, yeah, we, nope. we do this to get happy, not to fucking hate. Life. And I'm so much happier with GCW, oh. AEW, the Gosh. amount of fun that they're doing right now. GCW and Jeff Jarrett, I fucking hate <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. I pop for that. Yes. He sucks. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, I was I'm instantly interested. And I'm like, somebody's got to kick Jeff Jarrett's ass. And like, he's a cowboy in a renegade GCW promotion. What the fuck old. is that going to look like? Yeah. It's like Kenny Rogers is going to get fucking light tubes beat on him. Oh, he, you know, for every, it's a GCW. Let's go again. Quick sidebar here. But GCW just understands their audience and how to create heels. Because for everything that Matt Cardona represented which was the anti GCW they did again with Jeff Jarrett. So the other side of the coin of what GCW isn't yeah. is everything. But, Jeff a whole Jarrett different person. Is. He's going against yes. Evans, right? Like it's a whole different character, a whole oh, different dilemma. It's perfect. God bless them. They're so fucking cool. Oh, and Effie and Jeff Jarrett, that's going to be money. Like it just, I know it. Like I, as much as, like you said, I hate Jeff Jarrett. I don't, like I hate it. him. I've but never it's been like, be I can't wait good. to see this Jeff Jarrett match. I am into ever, it now. Ever. Yeah. Now I'm into it. Yep. Now I'm totally into it. Yeah. And then and then they're even bringing back other guys like at their GCW Detroit show, Kevin Nash is going to be there. Yeah. And then dude, can we talk about this real quick? Mm-hmm. I, I know we're going to get back into tweet Your tables show. and get we want to hear from you. But I want to hear you guys about this. So, 
if you followed their last GCW show, the number one contender who will be challenging John Moxley for the championship at the Hammerstein Ballroom is Homicide. Mm -hmm. And guess who else is going to be on that GCW show from the Hammerstein Ballroom? Eddie fucking Kingston. What will Eddie Kingston do when John Moxley takes on Homicide? So Eddie Kingston speaks of John Moxley as a brother, as though he loves mm-hmm. him like a brother. He speaks of homicide as though he's a god and loves him mm-hmm. like he's a god. So it will be interesting. I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope there's a moment where they put Eddie Kingston between a rock and a hard place and we get to see what he does because he's the perfect person to have that go through he's the best and Eddie if they Kingston's can carry the that fucking guy man. and then if they can carry that over to aw to where then john moxley and eddie kingston either are strengthened as a team or they go their separate ways like chef's kiss i can't eddie wait kingston. i love pro wrestling why eddie kingston is the guy is because he just encapsulates and presents the feeling of just annoyance and angst with the world around you that pretty much all of us feel right that like mm-hmm. just like if if rolling your eyes at stupidity was a character it's eddie kingston <laughs> yeah. right and yeah. everybody see and because it, it's subjective everybody feels somebody else is stupid right subjective everybody has that moment where they're like these fucking idiots around me right like everybody's an idiot but yet everybody's the smartest guy in the room right mm. so that's why it works so well with Eddie Kingston is because he just encapsulates that when you feel that you're like yeah I fucking feel that I know that feeling like Jesus Christ you fucking dipshits won't shut the fuck up and I just wanted a coffee and like you know I'm gonna beat your ass like well, you just shut the fuck up and here we are god damn it right and now you gotta like shove yeah. the fucking table over and fight everybody feels that and that's and he's authentic guy. that's the other yeah. thing too is he's authentic because you know you've put john cena you've put other characters hulk hogan in wcw before he was in the nwo and even when he was in the nwo you put those those characters in certain situations and you go well but john cena doesn't quit so he's not going to quit in this one right but with eddie kingston he might like he, he might, might give up on himself right or he might fucking prevail like that's authentic like we also there's a way yeah it's not yeah. just like yay rah rah uh, like we might see mm-hmm. same thing happened with hangman like we got yeah. a little bit of a up and down with him like he didn't just get yep. it on the first go yeah. round we had to be like oh fuck and that's what makes the Did best characters right. relatability anyhow gcw's fucking awesome aw's fucking awesome wwe can suck a dick uh and i don't mean to be the sexist or anything men and women can both do that i don't give a fuck um and if you don't even identify as one of those two things, whatever all you are, takers, you whatever yeah, all the fucking takers can do that shit. But like, I want to go and just fucking understand who the who likes this man. Yeah, but I think I think you're gonna you're just gonna be more disappointed with the answer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but at I, least I know like, because I feel yeah, like I'm uh, yeah, I feel science. like I'm yelling. You gotta down prove my a worst void. fears. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm yelling down a void. And I just, I want to hear something back, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 